Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. On today's video, I'm going to talk about why the hell I bought a scooter. <laughs> Stick around. Alright, thank you for stopping by, checking out my video again. Ooh, bump. Uh, I'm going to apologize for the, the crappy scenery, stayed still on fire, all that good stuff. So I wanted to talk about the reasons why I bought a scooter. <laughs> so I'm not going to have any particular number of reasons why I had it. I'm just going to ramble on like I usually do and tell you the excuses why I justified buying another motorcycle. So here we go. I still have my monkey. I didn't sell it, didn't trade it in for this thing, and it sits there most of the time. I still ride it every now and then, but uh, my monkey is kind of like one of those things that you buy that you want to uh, keep in really good condition and uh, just kind of enjoy it every once in a while because it's, it's truly, I think, that that bike is going to hold its value really well, if not go up in value. So I didn't want to uh, use that motorcycle for my just carefree daily riding sort of thing. Um, I want to keep it nice, keep it nice and clean. Uh, that way for the next person who, uh, who buys that bike, the next person who owns that bike will have a really nice bike uh, that I can hand off to them. Reason number two for uh, buying a scooter. Well, fuel economy. <laughs> Just like my, with my monkey, these things get incredible gas mileage. So, you know, um, I think this one has a two gallon tank on it. I'm not really sure. I really didn't do too much research on this, on this bike before I bought it other than listening to people's opinions on it. So I'm not really even sure how big the gas tank is, but it's a scooter. So it's gonna get really killer gas mileage. So I won't have to fill this thing up, you know, every other day. And while my Harley Davidson gets pretty good gas mileage for what it is, you know, a big V-twin motorcycle, it's a uh, it's just another tool in the shed, is what this bike is. Uh, the next reason why I bought a scooter is for the onboard storage. Now, with my little monkey bike. This fills a niche that that monkey bike cannot fill, and that is carrying things. Uh, the monkey has absolutely zero storage on it, other than that little tank bag that I bought, which I love, but it's just a little tiny tank bag that I take on that bike. Uh, a scooter has built-in storage and lots of it underneath the seat. Now this one, they claim you can put a full-size helmet underneath there. I probably don't plan on ever using it for that. I'm gonna keep things in there like that, uh, like a, you know, a puncture kit for the tires. I'll probably keep a, um, a phone charger in there uh, you know just the regular stuff that you'd want to carry on a bike just in case you need it uh, a bottle of water I'm also going to carry some camera equipment in there for when I want to go out and uh, take pictures and do things like that just whatever I want to throw in there and if I decide I wanted to stop by the store and I don't know pick up a jug of milk or something like that I can throw that under the seat too so just having the uh, the option of having storage on a motorcycle without having to add anything to it was really appealing to me And speaking of cameras, you see what my left hand is doing? I don't got to do nothing. <laughs> and I've always wanted a bike where I can have like a little action camera or a, or something that I can just kind of reach down and pick up and, and point at whatever I want to shoot and just be able to keep riding without having to worry about messing with a clutch or having to do something with my less left hand. So what I'm probably going to do is like maybe put a little piece of Velcro or something right up there and just stick a little action camera to it. Something I can just reach down, grab, hit record, record whatever I'm looking at because there's been so many times when I'm out riding, I want to record things that I see, but I have to keep my eyes trained on the road. So an action camera with a nice wide angle lens on it is going to come in real handy. I did some of that footage um, in the Yakima Canyon riding on my Vulcan 
when I was able to do it safely and I just I want to be able to get more footage like that. talk about the next reason why there's a scooter in my possession <laughs> um, riding in crappy weather that's one thing the scooters got going for them because your legs are tucked in in front of your body and the fairings and the body of the whole entire scooter is right directly in front of your legs that means your legs aren't going to get freezing cold in cold weather in inclement weather now obviously you know the windscreen is not going to provide me with the most protection so I think I might upgrade that to a bigger unit but riding a scooter is going to be warmer in crappy weather than would be uh, riding my Harley which I don't want to ride in crappy weather because I like to keep that thing clean uh, my monkey bike forget about it that's not that's never gonna see a mud puddle <laughs> I love that bike too much to get it filthy so this being an adventure scooter and it's uh, its whole intent and purpose is to basically go on and off-road you know gravel roads and ride it through crappy weather and stuff like that so that's what this bike is going to be used for when i feel like going for a ride and there's rain coming down or if i think it might rain well this little scooter is coming out of the uh out of the stable so talk about another reason why i decided to go with this bike uh, this is basically the bike that that made me want a scooter to be honest with you because of the tech because of the looks Because of the convenience because of pretty much everything about this bike. I mean, it's got a nice uh, nice display on it I was a big fan of uh, The Honda PCX 150 and I like the dashboard on it has digital display on it and stuff like that But there was just something about the looks of it. It just it just wasn't square enough. You know, it kind of looked like a it reminded me of like a bunny rabbit, a white bunny rabbit running super fast. How they tuck their ears behind their uh, behind their head and just haul butt. That's kind of what the PCX 150 looks like <laughs> to me, anyways. But yeah, back to the tech. Uh, this comes with you know the nice display on it and stuff like that. It's got a door down over here you can push on. It's got a built-in uh, cigarette lighter charger, like a 12 volt 12 volt plug on it. Uh, I haven't looked at it too closely. There might even be a USB charger in there. I'm probably wrong, but. Uh, that's one thing that's nice about this. It's a it's a 12 volt provided power source So when I put my GPS on here, it will actually charge the GPS Unlike on my Harley when I tried to hook it up to the GPS it wouldn't charge the uh, the GPS So it would just eventually just just over time the battery inside it was enough to keep it on But it wasn't enough to charge it and that's what those the uh, Garmin GPS They need to have a charge going to them the whole time so they don't die speaking of tech I and mean, this thing comes with a key fob I'm a big fan of those since uh since I got my Harley Davidson, got kind of used to that stuff, so that's going to be fun. I just, it, it's nice just being able to throw the fob in your pocket and not have to worry about fumbling around with keys. I'll be honest, you know, I hope more bikes uh, in the future adopt key fobs. Anyways, everybody, uh, I'm going to keep riding around, so thank you for stopping by checking out the video. Obviously, I'm not, you know, I'm going to make more videos on this to come and stuff, but I didn't abandon the Harley and the monkey. They'll still be around. Man, they are just moving dirt and everything else out here. It's like they found a freaking buried treasure out here. Anyways, thanks for stopping by the channel again. I hope to get more videos out more consistently, but thank you for watching. I'm going to sign off now and uh, enjoy the rest of my ride. See you later.